Well, 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 big goings on in the world of Tesla and computer chips. Let's take a look and see what the news is. For those of you interested in investing, check out Webull, an amazing platform for buying and selling stocks, and now cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and others. Open an account and get a free stock valued at up to $200, and fund your account and get another free stock valued at up to $1,600. Check out the link in the description and help the channel at the same time. Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know-It-All. So I'm recording this like pretty late in the evening, but I just got a post on Reddit that's an electric article that looks really, really interesting. Basically the content of the article is that Tesla's next full self-driving chip is going to be made by Samsung, not TSMC, which is a little bit of a surprise. And also it's going to be built on a seven nanometer process. And also it's going to be introduced with the Cybertruck. So I'm gonna read through parts of the article and then I'll talk about it briefly, but I just wanted to get this episode out quickly so you all could take a look at this information as quickly as I get it. And real quickly, just before I start, I want to show a meme that Elon Musk just posted, which I think is one of the funniest things I have ever seen. Anyway, if you don't know Blade Runner, if you, <laughs> it makes no sense. But if you do, you'll think this is really, really funny. It's been sort of the big question of Blade Runner is whether Harrison Ford's character is actually a robot or not. And so I just thought it was hysterical. Anyway, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. It doesn't really matter. But that's not apropos to the topic. But I just wanted to show that quick because it really did give me a good laugh. And so I'm like, man, apparently Elon Elon Musk and I have a very similar sense of humor. But anyway, on to the article. Let's start with the title. Tesla is in talks with Samsung to produce its next-gen full self-driving chip. This is, of course, from today, September 23rd, and it was just published a few minutes ago, and Fred Lambert, who is quite famous in Tesla circles, wrote the article. According to a new report from Korea, Tesla is currently in talks with Samsung Electronics to produce its next-gen full self-driving chip. The new chip is expected to first launch in the Tesla Cybertruck next year. So I just want to stop like real, real quick there. That's really fascinating that it's going to be in the Cybertruck, and it could actually partially explain a little bit of the delays that have happened with the Cybertruck. Certainly the chip shortage that's been going on, the battery shortage, it's very interesting to me that the 4680 battery cells, after being touted so much on battery day, have kind of disappeared off the radar. So I'm actually wondering if Tesla is having significantly more trouble producing the 4680s than they initially thought they were going to. So it'll be interesting to see what comes of that. But the other piece of this puzzle is that if Tesla wants to put this new full self-driving hardware into the Cybertruck, it's going to take time to ramp that and for Samsung to be able to make the hundreds of thousands to millions of these chips that are going to be necessary to be able to make this happen. So that could be another significant reason why Tesla has delayed the introduction of the Cybertruck until late 2020. 22, probably with deliveries not starting until early 2023, so a year and a quarter-ish from now. Anyway, the article goes on, and I'll leave a link in the description, but basically it goes on to talk a little bit about the history of how Tesla produced, uh, you know, full self-driving hardware version 2, then 2.5, and then they finally settled on hardware 3, or what Elon Musk is now calling full self-driving 1. The earlier computers were simply not powerful enough to be able to do full self-driving. Elon Musk insists that this version, hardware 3, that's in all current you know, cars that are being made now will be powerful enough to run full self-driving at what he's claiming is two to 300% better than human drivers. But of course, as you chase the nines and you wanna make things ever safer, the more powerful the chip you have, number one, the safer the driving, but number two, the more things you can do with it. So there's always a benefit to a next generation processor. So continuing on, at Tesla AI Day last month, CEO Elon Musk was asked whether or not Tesla is reaching the limit of the full self-driving computer's capacity. The CEO reiterated that he still believes the full self-driving computer will be able to achieve full self-driving. Quote, I'm confident that hardware three or the full self-driving computer one will be able to do full self-driving at a safety level much greater than humans. I don't know, probably two or 300% better than a human being, end quote. But Tesla also always said that it plans to improve on the full self-driving computer first introduced in 2019. So again, just to reiterate, the full self-driving computer hardware three that's currently in our cars right now is two years old. And really by the time this new one will be introduced, it'll be three years old. And you know, in the world of computer chips, that's really, really old. So it makes sense that a new generation would come out somewhere around the end of 2022 or so. Again, continuing on, 
At the event, Musk referenced the Hardware 4 or FSD Computer 2 and linked it to the launch of the Cybertruck, again with a quote from Elon Musk, quote, obviously there will be a Hardware 4 or self-driving Computer 2, which we will probably introduce with the Cybertruck, maybe in about a year or so. That will be about four times more capable, roughly. So it's a little bit unclear, you know, what four times more capable means, but it certainly will be faster and it probably will have better bandwidth and probably better memory as well. So it's going to be able to do more stuff and it will be able to add some more to the nine. So instead of being two or 300% better than a human being, it might be like a thousand percent better than a human being. Again, continuing on, the CEO said that the goal of the new hardware will be to enable it to increase the safety gap between human drivers and self-driving cars. So thus far, most of this is, you know, relatively old news, but the interesting part comes next. Now sources talking to the Korea Economic Daily said that Tesla is in the late stages of negotiating the production of the new chip with Samsung. Quote, Tesla and Samsung's foundry division have been working on the design and samples of the chip from the start of this year. Recently, Tesla decided to outsource the hardware for self-driving chip to Samsung. It's virtually a done deal. And then again, continuing on, quote, Samsung Electronics plans to mass produce the Tesla hardware for chip at its main Hwasong plant in Korea using the seven nanometer processing technology in the fourth quarter of this year at the earliest, according to sources. So that last little bit is the really, really important stuff and the new news that's just happening right now. So the number one thing is that six or eight months ago, I can't remember, but it wasn't that long ago when it appeared that TSMC was going to win this and that they were going to be manufacturing these chips at five nanometers, not seven nanometers. So there's a couple of things that are changing here. Uh, number one, it's really interesting that Samsung and Tesla have been working on this chip since early 2021. So, you know, maybe eight or nine months ago at this point. And again, for anyone who's familiar with this stuff, it takes forever to tape out and make these chips go through runs, go through trial production, you know, get all of this stuff working. And, you know, I don't know TSMC said they had this whole system on chip SOC thing working and system on wafer, etc. So they supposedly had the lead at some point, at least according to some news sources, and they were going to do it at five nanometers, which of course is smaller so you can fit more transistors onto the same size chip. But, you know, Tesla may have also worked with TSMC as well and decided that their technology wasn't as good. It's unclear from this. But anyway, it appears that Samsung has won the competition and they're going to use a seven nanometer process as opposed to a five nanometer process. The big problem with that is that you it takes up a little more real estate, which is not that big a deal in a car, but seven nanometers will draw more power than five nanometers would for the same exact chip, basically. So Tesla is giving up some wattage to be able to run this computer. And, uh, you know, I guess it's a decent trade-off and maybe TSMC or, or maybe TSMC just said we're not interested in doing this. I don't know. But whatever it is, Samsung appears to have won the bid. They appear to have things pretty much ready to go. If they're able to produce chips by late this year, like late the fourth quarter, that's actually great. Of course, it will take a really long time to ramp up and produce all of these chips. But before Tesla starts, you know, cranking out the Cybertruck and actually producing them and rolling them off the assembly line, they probably want hundreds of thousands of these chips. And of course, they also want to do a number of trial production runs and make sure that these things operate really well. Because remember, these chips have to run a decade, a decade and a half, right? 10 to 15 years under terrible circumstances, really, really hot, really, really cold, uh, not being taken care of well, being rattled around inside of a truck, et cetera, et cetera. So they're, they're going to want these things to be tough as nails. And so I'm sure that a lot of what they're going to do over the next year is going to be to use some of these early samples and put them through as much torture as they possibly can and keep refining that. So these initial production runs, Maybe they'll be used in trucks, but it's more likely they're going to be used in test bed sorts of situations. And that chips that are produced, you know, maybe five or six months from now, those will be the first ones that actually appear in the Cybertruck and other Tesla vehicles. But anyway, very exciting news. Again, rumors, <laughs> take this all with a grain of salt. It might end up going back to TSMC because it's not done until there's a deal that's signed and they're actually producing the chips and it's all made public. So again, Take this with a grain of salt, it's just a rumor, but I thought it was really fascinating and definitely worth passing it on even at this odd hour. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. If you did, definitely like this video so other people can find it. And of course, consider subscribing if you like this kind of stuff. As always, of course, a huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Thank you all so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And if you're interested in some awesome merch, check out the link in the description. We've got the Tesla Bot t-shirt, which is super popular these days. Don't mess with Tesla. Lots of other t-shirts, tumblers, 
stickers, mugs, etc. So check out the link in the description and help the channel out. And for those of you interested in investing, check out Webull, an amazing platform for buying and selling stocks, and now cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and others. Open an account and get a free stock valued at up to $200, and fund your account and get another free stock valued at up to $1,600. Check out the link in the description and help the channel at the same time. Thank you. And finally, don't forget that we are Amazon affiliates. If you look in the description, you can see how clicking a link and going shopping helps out the channel. And as always, feel free to ask me questions in the comments or at my email address, which is drknowitallknows at gmail.com. Till next time, bye-bye.